Make Mine Shoebox. Our story began long ago, when somebody made two remarkable observations. One, that a large percentage of the human population lacks the ability to communicate with their loved ones in any meaningful way. And B, that many of them have disposable income and are willing to pay for help. Upon these observations, an entire industry was built, and that industry was called the Wine and Spirits Industry. Still, difficulties remained. Fortunately, around 1911, a brilliant young man named J.C. Hall came up with a better idea, and the greeting card was born. Yes, Mr. Hall, you were the Cyrano de Bergerac to a Baron Christian de Nouviet. Uh, I don't get it. His original slogan, when you care enough to send something better than the bumbling illiterate dribble you can think up on your own, was eventually shortened to be the popular phrase we know today. Seventy-five years later, Hallmark introduced the shoebox card line. The new brand was named affectionately for the tiny box in which a young J.C. Hall, while founding his company, kept his shoes. Say, friend, that's a nifty greeting card you've made. I suppose now you're in the greeting card business, right? Wrong. Just because you make something doesn't mean anyone's going to buy it. You need to have a business plan, a marketing strategy, financing, insurance, sales, facilities, benefits, technical training, engineers, advertising, and a network of retail outlets and strategic partnerships. Sound like a living hell? Don't worry. There are people who are good at these things. While you're painting flowers in your overalls, the business experts are out there wearing uncomfortable clothing, working to ensure there will always be a market for your folded scraps of paper. All they ask in return is a small share of the profits. The passion behind the corporate strategy is communicated by the marketing department to the creative team through a series of tens of thousands of graphs. It is important that the shoebox card display have a little something in it for everyone. Once it has been scientifically determined precisely what kind of cards are needed, the editor turns to the writers. The most common question asked of any writer is, where do you get your ideas? The greeting card writer works in two stages. We'll call them intake and outcrap. Before anything is put down on paper, the writer must familiarize herself with the current trends in popular culture through hours of attentive research. Shh, we don't wish to break her concentration. Once the raw materials have been gathered, Forging a viable greeting card concept is easy. Everything our writers write is wonderful. Unfortunately, some of it is crap. The editorial staff must decide which cards are funny and which are likely to provoke a lawsuit. Consideration should also be given to contemporary standards of taste. Words such as and or combinations of words like are thought crude in many circles and must be removed before a card can be sent on to production. Now that we have our writing, wouldn't a pretty picture be just the thing to get our point across? It sure would. Most Americans are functionally illiterate. The technique of a commercial artist, or sellout, can seem like magic. Actually, there's nothing to it. Producing a suitable greeting card design is a simple, mechanical task that can be learned through repetition by almost anyone with a hand. Like drywalling. Miraculous advances in software have made the job of the artist almost unbelievably easy, which is why drywalling pays better. Shortly after the deadline is passed, the artist will begin to think about submitting his work to the art director for approval. This can be a difficult time for everyone. Don't worry, he'll get over it. And if not, there are a thousand more just like him. From here on out, it's nothing but smooth sailing for this card through the graceful curves of a modern digital workflow. How does a card get from here to the hands of a happy customer? Let's find out. To harness the atom, safety scissors, we have focus groups. If enough of the hamsters react favorably, like our 10-4 good buddy, there's remarkably little damage. Ah, another satisfied customer. And that's how a shoebox brand greeting card gets made. We hope our little presentation has given you a deeper understanding of our tiny little division. And remember, when it comes to greeting cards, make mine shoebox.